The Promised Neverland, Chapter 139, Demon Surge, Part 2. Was the eye seen? She found us out. Did she hear all of that? No, that's not it. Why? You can understand her language, Aishi? On that day, the world. My dogs? Demons? That demon was a staff member of our plantation. He was a man of few words, always looking downward, and anything but skillful. Ever since he was a child, picked his mask? He despised his own face. One day, the right side of his face suddenly lost its shape. Since then, no matter what he ate, his face wouldn't change back. It's like a stray. He's gonna fall to wild. You're different. What have you been eating? Even though I've been eating properly. Eating humans is supposed to turn me back to normal, with all these body parts. His face was a curse to him. But just maybe. Babies aren't fair though. A day, being carried on a line for disposal. Ooh, ga ga. He thought he saw himself in one of the human babies. How wasteful. Throwing all this out. Ooga ooga. If only we could eat them. When they get this irregular. Is this baby with the same scar? Look around? Put it in a bag? He can make evil deed. So? <laughs> the dogs are looking at the baby. I really stole it. It was going to be thrown away. It's still the plant's property. So from around? First off. How do you even pick up a human? Should I eat it? Well, if I think of it like a dog. He originally lived alone on the outskirts of the village. He secluded himself even further into the depths of the forest and hid. He quit from the plantation. Well, that's fine. Picks up. There, there. What do you even eat? Researching. What do you even wear? Going around and just wrapped it up in... Wow. Ka ka. <laughs> touch. He was no longer cursed. Both of them were happy. Tuck her in when she's reading. On the day, oh, they attacked. Wait, over here. Something's wrong. There's stuff, Aishi. Dad, Dad. No. I can't die yet. I don't want to die. Trying to go over I see, I see. Touch. Dead? To come in? It's right. Everything is going to be okay now. He's, it's demon. She's saying, I won't forgive you. How dare you? I'll kill you. I'll kill all of you. There's Norman. Why? Are you asking why I understand your language? What could it be about why I've kept so quiet? Ah, because I hate them. He, in fact, did eat human meat. But to me, he was a father. He taught me language and taught me about the world. He raised me as family, not as food. He was my one and only father. And then those guys killed him. They are my enemies. That's why I hate them so much. And why I don't want to speak. They're going to get back at them? I'm acting angry and following the orders. I'll kill them. Huh? So I can survive the situation I've been put in. Hmm? And you guys, huh? Why would you kill them? You want to let the evil blood escape? If it were the other humans, they would kill them without hesitation. But you're different from them. So what is it? We're not so different, you know. We also hate demons. There wasn't anything more frightening to us. But then Sangju and Musica saved us. Those two are lifesavers and precious friends to us. Are this run friend or group? She said not all demons out there are bad, and that she didn't want to fight. It's not that we're blindly following what she did. We also don't want to wipe out the demons, if possible. For that, we're searching for Sangju and Musica. That's why, if you're an escort, acting assassin, we told ourselves we have to protect Musica and Sangju. Hey Ashi, did Norman, did the boss order Musica and Songju to be killed? I don't know. I haven't received an order like that, huh? Rather, I was ordered to. We're so glad, huh? They're crying. Norman, he really was thinking about protecting us. He reconsidered. Did he? Huh? We're glad you weren't assassin, Ashi. Suffer down you. They're crying. Don and Gilda. Ah, wait. It could be that Norman is just waiting for us to bring them back, and then you'll kill them. But for the moment, it's safe. And, and still leaves us room to make negotiations. It won't be the most ruthless of measures now. I'm so glad. And we can search for music and songju without any worries. Hmm? And there's the giant sized humans. I see. No tracks either. Yeah. We'll find them soon. Got it? 
We'll kill the cursed blood as soon as we find them, just like the boss ordered. His scheme is looming in the shadows. So actually he doesn't trust them. Basically this is like the backstory of Ashi. That's why it... Huh. So Demon saved her. And the reason why she has dogs around her is because that's where she was raised with. I wonder if like Emma and them can learn demon language. Possibility, I guess. They saved her and taught her everything and then they came attacking. I guess, yeah, they wouldn't like separate him from the other demons. Mm -hmm. Oh. She looks so small. Basically, I'm thinking she's going to get revenge with them, but then Don Gilda don't want them taking out Norman. Then we got the Adams. Then the distance, wow, he's getting like firewood. Who knows about the plan? Hmm. Okay. What's gonna happen when they find them? That's the way for Sangju and Miska are safe. It's good that they didn't tell um Haido that they found like tracks. Well, what were your thoughts? Um Race is gone. Dang it. Hopefully I'm in I'm in Ray. I'm in contact. And they changed the plan. Change the promise. Um, yeah, what are your thoughts? Um, if you're new, subscribe, like, comment. Thanks for watching, and have a good rest of the day. Bye.